want to turn now to finish off on what this what this means for an actual investment portfolio, how you know what 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 your view is, Jonathan, and and also how we're positioned in terms of our managed portfolios uh, for our clients. What, what what can you say about that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think the the appropriate and uh, prudential uh, response in terms of portfolio construction in an environment like this is to err on the side of caution, to be more conservative, because we're now witnessing the kind of shock waves and consequences of a dramatic tightening in monetary policy and this really global synchronized sharp rise in interest rates will lead to slowing economic activity. I think it would be remarkable that after so many years of very low interest rates and low inflation and massive, massive monetary accommodation via quantitative easing, I would be shocked if as we transition from that very, very lower interest rate, low inflation environment to a higher interest rate environment with higher inflation, that there won't be economic consequences. So therefore, it is my view that the economic consequences will be a deceleration in economic activity. I'm actually going for outright recession. That then in time will lead to, obviously, a, a deterioration in earnings. So ultimately, when you're looking at building a portfolio and you're looking at the equity side of your uh, portfolio mix, I think we need to really think about the, the downgrade to earnings, which is now happening in the United States. They were very late and slow to downgrading earnings expectations, but they're now doing it. So lower EPS, earnings per share, basically equates over time to me to a lower, uh, a further weakening in, in equity markets. And on the other side, on the other side of the portfolio, you've got the realization, and you mentioned it earlier, that the, the central banks are very close to peak interest rates. And I think the Fed's pretty much done. I think the RBA is pretty much done. I, I really believe that Philip Lowe doesn't have the heart or the appetite to raise yeah. rates anymore. And he's very worried about the housing market. So yeah. the bottom line is, um, therefore, the bond side of your portfolio looks quite attractive because you've got uh, slowing economic growth, slowing inflation. And obviously, I've said already that the, the slower earnings profile. So that leads you, I believe, that the prudent measured response to that is that you are underweight equities and you are overweight bonds. Yeah, very good. Underweight equity and overweight bonds. And, and following on from that, that's essentially how all of our portfolios are positioned. In our tactical overlay, we're extremely underweight uh, equities. Uh, probably sort of 80% underweight relative to whatever the, the neutral positioning is for a client's risk profile. And in our strategic portfolios, you know, we're, we're, we're probably at the lower end of our expected range, which is, you know, probably 10, 10, 12% under the neutral benchmark. And, and, and generally um, you'll have a blend of those. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's the long and the short of it. When we talk about bonds, we talk about, high quality bonds, I think it's important to note. So government bonds or really high quality uh, corporate bonds, if you like, you'll probably want to be careful. Would you agree, Jonathan, in the high yield, high risk space when we're talking about bonds? Absolutely. I think yeah. you have to upgrade quality yeah. in your portfolio. In this environment, it's an emphasis on quality, quality, quality. And that relates very much to the corporate bond environment. And as you say, uh, obviously, the uh, government uh, securities are the highest uh, 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 part of that quality spectrum. But in your corporate exposures, quality, 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 because defaults are going to rise. Yeah. And then again, going back to our portfolios, we've got a small allocation to high quality uh, corporate bonds, which we recently added. Uh, but most of our exposure in is in sort of medium to longer durated uh, government high quality uh, developed market government bonds. So, so very good. And yeah, just be, just be cautious out there. It is very difficult um, to, to get in and out. One would probably say that 
where you are now, you, you'd be careful selling out of equities at this point, even though there is a lot of uh, downside to go. Um, that's something that, that we sort of manage and, and, it, and it goes to, you know, you generally want to be careful being positioned this way before a crisis like that. We've talked about historically in our investment committee meetings, raising rates, uh, central banks of the world raising rates until something breaks. Well, something broke um, in March over in the US and, and now we're seeing that. So we haven't actually reacted uh, in our portfolios to this. We've had quite a lot of discussion and meetings about it, but essentially we feel as though we were, we were quite well positioned.